Hi, and welcome to our online sponsoring induction for the Vista Group. Where's the start? Okay, so we're going to talk today about starting, sponsoring, and building your team to earn yourself more income by sharing this on, on social media. Okay, so the first place you want to start ideally is with your warm market so people that you know okay so people these people are that trust you and you don't need to go out there and bombard them and, and you know say join my team but you just need to come across excited show how much you, you know you're loving your business and post that on your facebook grip feed that information and people will soon come to you people want to buy you and your lifestyle rather than the business itself so if you're betraying yourself the right way you will start attracting the right people so always be positive on facebook that's probably my biggest tip with all social media you're, you're showing your lifestyle and if it's constant negativity people will not want to be a part of that so make sure that you're really uplifting and people will want to come see what you're doing now we talk about drip feeding the information so we don't want to put all over facebook join my team you know recruiting adverts on your own timeline okay this people will soon get fed up with that so what you have to do is you have to be done in the right way so these are the type of things i put on my facebook that i've always had people come to me so when i've won conferences in, in network marketing people have approached me to see what it is that i do that's given me this kind of lifestyle you know sitting out in the garden whilst i'm working on a sunny sunny day while everyone else is stuck in an office or a factory this attracted people to me people wanted to come and join our business and see what we were doing because they didn't want to be sat in an office or in the factory on a day like this or on a job. So this got intrigued and it got people interested and hooked in. And that's the type of thing that you really want to get across on your um, social media. Now, this is a really good message to contact the water market. So again, we don't want to just go, go out there and say, look, I've got this, you need to join. Okay, we don't want to go down that route. This is a really indirect message that I have found works really well for me. Okay, so hi Jane, just a quick message to see if you know anyone interested in earning some extra cash. So straight away, you're cutting that out. You're not asking them, do they want to earn any extra cash? So you're avoiding the awkwardness. Okay, you are saying to them, do you know anyone? My online business is booming and we're crying out for more extra people with demand. If you do know anyone, send them my way back. Now, straight away, that's not awkward, okay? You're not going to have all the mums at the school gate running the other way because you think you're trying to recruit them. You know, everyone avoiding you. This is a way where they can simply say, well, if I know anyone, I'll pass them on, or no, I don't know anyone. Uh, or they might then come back and say, well, I'm actually looking myself. People are more inclined to say that they're actually interested. If you're not asking them direct, they're going to come to you, okay? Now, the more people that you speak to, the more people are going to join you. Yeah, it's a numbers game. We have to go through numbers to be able to get this thing up and running and get it moving and start snowballing. Now, there are so many ways with the internet now for us to share our business and not just with our warm market. Now, the warm market for me, I feel is a really good place to start. But if you're uncomfortable with starting with your warm market, that's okay. You don't necessarily want people to know what you're doing and that's okay although i do think it's the best way but we have other options now i would do this as well as warm market but if you don't want to do the warm market then go down the cold market route and advertise now what are we promoting we're promoting a business where we're going to sell some products and we're going to teach other people how to sell some products now where would be the best place to find people that sell some products facebook buying selling sites okay Put some adverts in them by yourself. Like start getting people attracting to you that want to do what you do, and you'll soon start to see people coming in, and you just send them over the relevant information to get your business started. Now, our system on this is simply posting 20 to 30 adverts a day spread out. Now, what you've got to remember here: 20 to 30 adverts a day is what we recommend in total. That's including if you're selling and advertising your work. So, you know, you maybe need to get to a stage where you're maybe not posting as many selling ads, or you're not posting as many recruiting ads, or you're using two Facebook accounts. You are allowed to have two, one for business, one for personal. So if you're going to do the 20 to 30 ads on two groups, two Facebook accounts, that is going to give you more volume. Okay? You need to be joining 10 new selling groups every single day because you need fresh eyes seeing your ads all the time, no matter how many groups you're in. 
If you're in 800 groups, you still need to join 10 selling groups every single day. And then that way, you always get new people always coming and looking. I recommend that you speak to 15 people a day every single day about this business. Now, what I mean by that is you need to be sending 15 people the information. Now, for me personally, how I think that should work is if you get to 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, whatever it is before you're ready to stop, you're ready to go to bed, and you look and you think, I've only sent 10. Only 10 people responded to my ads today and send you one market message out to the other five. As long as you were sending people information every day, that will keep your business flowing. You will get people joining you all the time and keep your own Facebook activity really high. This is really important to help with Facebook restrictions. Okay, so you need to keep that level up and you need to keep yourself in the forefront as well. You need people to be seeing you all the time, regardless of whether it's out with the kids, whether it's business talk, whether it's on a night out. Just keep yourself in the forefront of people's minds at all times on Facebook. Now, we're talking about online recruiting, but these are the little tips. And if you really want to give this a good go, we can get working with now shop adverts. Okay, sticking an advert in the local chippy, in the local music, in the hairdressers, in the beauty salon. Okay, business cards popping them out everywhere you go, leaving them in coat pockets, in the, in the stores, in the shops, leaving them where the menus are when you go for something to eat, leaving them a good one, leaving them in the um, cash machine, in the card slip. Uh, if you need extra cash, people are going to the cash machine, you have to pull it out before they can put the card in. Well, yeah, I need extra cash, my account empty. Okay, things like that get people interested. And then we also have online job adverts. Okay, job sites, there's free ones. You can go on and advertise your business, okay? Now, you need to be really organized with this if you want this to work, and especially if you're gonna do this on a mass level, okay? So copying and pasting is just really easy to do with this business. I personally do all this off my phone, okay? So I have saved on the notes of my phone all the responses. So people ask me questions, ask me for information, I copy and paste. I always edit it by changing the person's name. One, because it's seriously important that you personalize it and it doesn't just look like it's copy and paste. But also, if you do just keep copying and pasting, then it will come across as spam, okay? That you're sending this out all the time, it could get you a restriction. Have the links to the catalog saved on your phone because you can very easily send that and access them for people. Something I have is frequently asked questions saved to my phone, things like, how, how can I earn money? What's the commission? How does it work selling online? Can I do a catalog? All this type of thing, I have it saved on my phone and I can literally copy and paste and tweak and adjust, obviously, as people are talking to you. Now, it's very important that you don't send all this information in one big go, okay? For a start, people will look at your message straight away, see how long it is, read the top line, read the bottom line. You know, it's, people just don't like too much. So it needs to be done the same way as we communicate with people. They ask a question, you answer. They ask a question, you answer. And it's back and to and back and to to build that relationship. That's so important. Have pictures of the products saved for your phone. Send them over. Have a little look at what we sell. I would always recommend doing this as well as the cataloging. Straight away in people's faces. You have to look them. They may not click on your link. Make sure you've got your sign-up link saved for your phone. So that when someone says, yeah, I want to join it, just a click of copy and paste, there you go, get signed up. Have your group shop link saved to your phone as well. Get them in there, get them seeing what you're doing. Now, you need to build momentum, okay? So if you speak to people every single day about this business, your business will snowball up the fact that you can't go any other way. Now, the quicker you do this, and the more people you speak to, the quicker that's going to happen. For me, I believe that we go through three stages when we are team building with this type of system. So this is all geared around sending people messages on Facebook, okay? And with this system, this is how this needs best to, to happen with the stages. So we've got stage one. Stage one is what I call your building stage. Now this stage lasts around four to six weeks. This is where your momentum is building, okay? So you're not, you're doing the work every single day, but you're probably not yet seeing the results from that. Okay, so if you're doing your 15, speaking to 15 people every day, it could take four to six weeks before you actually get anyone to sign on the dotted line and join your team. 
okay? So you're gonna keep gonna do that, but you might not actually see anything, but that is normal. We have to understand that it takes time for momentum to build up. So please be patient, it can last up to six weeks. It could only last a week, you could get people joining you instantly. But this is how it works, okay? When you get to the four to six weeks, you then become what I call your Lord and Savior, and all your hard work is now paying off, okay? Your team is starting to build at a rapid pace. It's really important to keep this topped up, okay? Keep doing this, keep what I call the leaky bucket, filling it up, filling it up. Now, this stage can last as long as you want it to, and the better, the longer, the better. But what you're going to find here is you're going to find someone that spoke to you six weeks ago is now going to come back and say they're ready to join. Someone from four weeks ago, someone from two weeks ago, someone from the advert you've just put out. And it's going to get to that point where you have got constantly people coming to you. I can guarantee if you follow this system every single day, and I mean every single day, so you can't stop and have a weekend off or stop and have a week off, you have to send this information every single day for six weeks and I can guarantee you will have a team building, okay? So it's really important to follow that system and not give up. So don't after three weeks say, oh, I've sent loads of people information and they've not yet joined. Well, that's okay because you've not got to, to the six weeks yet. It's just normal, it's just not how it's gonna happen, okay? Now stage three is where I call your juggling stage. You're finding your feet, you've got lots of people that are coming in, you're bringing in more and you just need to keep this going now. Now you may not have to load as quick as you was before, but that loading today, you can carry that on for as long as you want, where you've been is really growing rapidly. But when you get to this stage, it's so important to keep pumping. You know, if you let go of that pump, that sort of the water pump, then as soon as that stops, you've got to start all over again. You've got to start with that building stage all over again to get your momentum built back up, okay? So even when you're at this stage where you've got loads of people coming in, you're trying to work with the team and you're trying to bring in new people, even if it's just tapping away, doing a bit, even if you cut that down, you don't want to speak to 15 people a day anymore and you want to speak to five, 10 people, that's okay. Just don't stop entirely, okay? Keep that momentum building. Now, starting your building stage, it takes a lot of effort. Yeah, six weeks of constant work is hard. Please only start that loading stage, that building stage once. Okay, we don't want to have to start that again because the second time around, it's harder. And it's harder because it's mentally harder because you know how hard it was the first time you've done it. Okay, and that can be off-putting. You need to just keep going and don't ever take your, your stop pumping well. Okay, now we've all heard the story about the, the rabbit and the, the herd of tortoise in the race. Yeah, we've all heard that story. And now that tortoise did not win that race because it was slow. Okay, I've heard different views on this where people have said, go slow, take your time, and you'll get there. Of course, you'll get there. Okay, but it's not because you were slow that you got there. That tortoise won that race because he was consistent. Okay, the herd was fast, yeah, he got off to a good start, but he burnt himself out because he couldn't keep it up and he stopped. Okay, he stopped with the pumping. Yeah. You've got to be consistent, it's really important. Make sure you get yourself to a level where you feel comfortable, what fits in with your lifestyle and with your other commitments and you stick to that. Don't try and compete with anybody else. Don't look at someone else's race and think, well, they're bringing in more people than me, but you full work full time and I've got four children and all of this stuff to go on, that's okay. Your situation is different, okay? It's not about going slow or fast, it's about being consistent. So touch your business every single day and watch it grow. Now, let's get them started. So we've got them in, yeah, we've got people signed up. What do we do with them? Well, this is where we're gonna start with our, this is our system that we follow each time someone joins. So first things first, check that they have activated their account. So when you send them a sign up registration, they get an email that they've got to click and activate. If they do not activate, they will disappear off your, off your list. They will no longer be active. Year. Okay, they will no longer be in the business. And so make sure that's been done. Now, what we're suggesting here is that you set them up a selling group. Instead of getting them to set it up themselves, you set it up. For one, it takes 30 seconds. So when I say set it up, I'm not saying do all the work for them, you're just creating the group. Okay? You're going to cre create that group, call it anything, call it shop with Chloe, shop with Rachel, and then make sure that they're aware that they can change that name. Okay, so you set the group up, now you're admin of that group and you can help them if there's ever any issues, if 
if you ever get a first foot restriction and they've got you as an admin there. Okay, so you can keep an eye on things. What you need to do now is you need to add them to all your team groups. Okay, so make sure they're in like a picture group and your team support group and then get them a welcome message sent out. Now this welcome message needs to explain that, that you've set them up a group, that you've made them admin and that they can feel free to, to change the, um, the name and the picture because I always put a picture and a name. Feel free to change that, it's just to get you started. Make sure that you're tagging them in the pinned post that they're in the group so that they've got the selling system. Okay, everything's there for them to go in now and have a little look through. There's an online induction video, you can get to grips with that when they're ready. Okay, you need to then tell them that they're going to put in that group 15 to 20 products. Okay, so this needs to be in the welcome message before adding any people to the group. So they don't want to add anyone, any friends and family, just get the pictures, get them out of the picture group. To make sure that they're aware about the starter kit, okay, and the welcome program, make sure they know all of that. Um, and make sure that they're aware about activating their trading account. Okay, get them to log into the Oriflame website and get their online beauty store going. Uh, and make sure then you're working closely with them. Okay, so keep a check on them, keep seeing that they're okay, making sure that they're happy with everything. And when they're comfortable, add them to the chat. I wouldn't personally sign them up and add them to the chat instantly because they can be quite overwhelmed by that. So for me personally, I make sure that they've got the group set up. Have you sold? Have you got things posted on the group yet? Right, great. We've got a team chat. Would you like to be added to it? Okay, make sure they're always aware that they can mute that chat if you want to. Some people work and if you don't want notifications, you can mute it at the top. But there's always somebody there to help and support you and guide you and give you advice. If ever I'm not available, if you ever can't get hold of me or you just want to see some information of things that are going on. Okay, now something I want to just mention because I've kind of skirted past that and didn't realize that. The set them up a selling group. Now, if you don't know how to set up a selling group, very simple. You literally, on your Facebook, you'll click on where it says groups. Okay, so where you've got groups, and in the corner, the plus. You click plus, and that's create create the group. And you literally just put the name, um, we're going to put it in. I would set it as a closed group, press, go. There you go. They're going to change it to public, that's fine, whatever they want to do. But if it's a closed group, then they can get people added to it, you want them to, you want to physically add people to the group and join it. So it's up to them what they want to do on that, but that's what we feel is right, right at the minute. Okay, Facebook things are always changing, rules are always changing, but it's entirely up to you. Now what you need to become now with this is a sign for, this has got to be the biggest part for me that I feel is really important. Okay, now you've just joined this business and you want to get started with recruiting, you can't expect you to become a great leader and know the ins and outs of her plan and the business overnight. So this is what, what this is what you need to do. You need to become a signpost, and you need to get good at pointing people in the direction of all the information. So we've got the team pages, we've got the picture groups, we've got the resources website, the team chats, all the events that are going on. We've got the zooms and the webinars. You want to get them around people that know what they're talking about. And then it will start to come up, rub off to them. And you know what? The cream will rise to the top, okay? So it's really important now that with your team member, you're going to build relationships. Get to know your people. Be interested and not interesting, yeah? Find out what they do in their life. It's not about you and what you've done. It's always about them, okay? Build friendships. Have that fun and be truthful, okay? If you're brand new to sponsoring and someone says to you, Oh, Jane, how do I how do I do this? And you don't know. You just simply go back with, I'm not too sure on that one, but I'll go and find out. Here. Okay, be truthful. Tell them how long you've been in the business. Tell them what they know, and then you can all work together. If you're new to this, then you can make sure that they're aware that you're new to this. But there's always someone above. There's always a sponsor above that's here to help that's got that more knowledge. I think this is one of the most major things. You need to give lots of recognition. Our business is thriving through pure recognition. Recognize everything, okay? Every time we get the first sale, when we've got the, the news up into bonus points, when they're starting to recruit the first team member, when they place the first order, anything, recognize it. So many people do not get recognized in, in the outside of network marketing world. And you will be surprised how much people crave it. And when you really recognize people and you find their talents, and you really point them out, they start to flourish. They develop talents that they didn't even know they had. 
and they crave that and they want more of that and so many people will drive in this business just for the recognition now this is something that i think is really important i'm really passionate about this we build people and then people build a business it's not about the business it's us building a business it's such it's building people up we need to make sure that we're never pulling anyone down even when we think people are doing wrong we don't go in and say you're doing that wrong we, we will go in about it the right way we will, we will go in and say look you know we've um that this isn't quite right however we've done this really well that really well so let's use your strength and make this better you know all these type of things that you can do just you don't put people down ever now the thing with this business and something that you've got to remember is some do some don't so what you're going to get people that are not interested once they've joined you're going to get people that are like magicians you sign them up and then they disappear and you never speak to them again okay you get that you get these people that we call our armor gunners they come in and they say to us i'm going to do this i'm going to do that you think wow he's going to be massive this is going to be the next big person then they're gone okay this happens this really does happen but we just have to keep sifting through okay the idea is sift through enough stones so you find your diamond now this can take a lot of time you can be in the business for years before you start to find any really big people that are going to go and change your business but you know what by sifting through all these stones you're building your business you're building your income and you're then going to be left with the good people that's going to go on and multiply this on so you need to keep your leaky, leaky bucket filled up because people leave and you need to make sure that you're filling your bucket quicker than it's leaving okay so if if you've got people dropping out real quick you need to be filling up real quick okay and keep that going now you need to give everyone the best start everyone needs to be shown the same way and like I say, some will, some won't. Just don't take it personal. Sometimes you can go through a lot of bad ones in one go, and you can go through a lot of good ones in one go. But it's just keeping going. Keeping going regardless of, of what, what, which way it goes. Now, a couple of top tips with, with, with um, recruitment online is try new adverts all the time. Keep trying different ways. Keep trying to grab people's attention. Create a need and a want, okay? So people who don't even realize that they need this business and suddenly they then want it. I think that's so important. You know, why not do things like, as you come towards summer, uh, who would like a holiday this year? You know, some people will think, God, yeah, I could do a holiday, I want one now, right? I can earn some extra money by doing this to go towards that. Don't overload your new people. So when they join up, please don't sign them up, put them in all the groups, and then tag them in every single how-to video, how to do this, how to do that, how to place a return, you know, the person has been placed an order and you show them how to place a return, you will overload them. They will then instantly think that this is too complicated and they can't do it. Okay, so drip feed, need to know basis. Even when people are asking you a lot of questions, if you start running away with themselves, simply go back and go, look, let's just start with the basics, let's get you selling some stuff. Okay, and then we, then we can go through that as and when we get to it. Learn as much as you can about this business, okay? Become an expert about this business. Keep trying to find, again, be around the, the people that are doing well, start learning, shadow them, see how they're working. Um, get good at getting your team on webinars and, and events and Zooms because this is where your business will grow massively, and massively, because once you start getting them hooked to that, this is where it will really grow, okay? And then get people working in groups, you know, get them in the chats together. Sometimes with this, with online with online recruiting, you get a lot, a big volume of people coming through. And if you get a big volume come through in one day and you're you're having a busy day and you've had five people join this morning and five people join yesterday, get them in a chat together, get them working together so that you can use your resources wisely. Okay. The one because don't forget some of them people in that group probably won't do anything. But you're going to get some that are going to be wanting. Yeah, they're going to want your attention. And then people will step out. You'll be able to see that. You'll be able to see it in the chat. They'll also be coming to you. And then you know, these are my people. I need to really work closely with them as well. And just keep doing that and working together as a, as a team. Because we like that as well. We like working together as a team. Now, you need to keep track of your team and of yourself. Okay, so for me personally, I can't always follow up a step-by-step -step hourly plan because I have a busy lifestyle. So for me, I have a checklist. And my checklist will go through how many people I need to speak to each day. You know, what team members need to speak to each day. All the important things for me that 
I can't go to bed until I've done. Okay, so have one of them or a plan, one of the other or both. But then you also need to be tracking your team. Okay, so have things like for me, I've got a board on the wall and it's got the team member's name. Okay, it's got have they posted products in their group? Because you'd be surprised how many groups you set up that no one actually even posted. Have they posted the products in the group? Yeah, great. Have they, have they made a sale yet? Have they placed an order yet? Have they hit their first um, welcome incentive yet? Have they hit the second? Have they hit the third? Have they signed any team members up? Have they signed up any um, preferred customer slash consultants up? All of this stuff that you so that you can look at a glance on your list and see who's doing well, who's not, okay, where you've got to be going with it. So that's it. Thank you very much, and I hope this really helps for you to get started with um, recruiting on 